Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to share with you how we can debug Apex code. Before moving on, let's see what debugging is. Debugging is the process of finding what is wrong with your code or finding the bug. Now a bug or a defect is something that is causing an unexpected behavior of your program. Now, when it comes to debugging the Apex code, there are two approaches that you can take. The first one is by using system.debug statements. And the second is using the Apex replay debug. The focus of this video is going to be the first one. So let's move on. With it. So I have logged into my development org and this is the piece of code that we are going to debug. When you execute this code, it will give you an output like this one where it prints uh, which animal is found in which location. For this, what I have done is I have created two different maps to store the data of animals as well as the habitats. And then what I'm doing is looping over and printing the desired results. Now before moving on, you must be aware of this. Whenever we execute something in the Salesforce org, some logs are generated. And these logs can be accessed with the developer console. And if you don't know what the developer console is, uh, I have created a detailed video on the same. Go check it out and then we can continue in this video. These logs give you all the details that we need to debug our code. And you must be aware of what a system.debug statement is. It is something like this thing. It basically prints something in your debug logs and the printed statements can be filtered out using this particular user underscore debug event. So the way we do this is by inserting system.debug into our written code. Now, how does it work? Let's find out. But before that, let's see when to use system.debug statements and when to use the other approach. So we need to use system.debug statements to debug our Apex code when we have limited lines of code. Like in this example, we only have 2025 20, lines of code. So this is suitable for system.debug statements to be used. The second criteria is there should be minimal classes and methods involved. In our example, we only have one class and one method that is being executed here. The third criteria is you should be allowed to insert system.debug statements in the existing code. If you're not allowed to do that, you cannot use this method. All right, so now let's go about debugging our code. And before that, let's try to run it once and see if it's working as we expect it to or not. So let's go to debug, open execute anonymous and hit execute. As soon as you execute, a fresh log would be created here, as you can see, and it is unread. Let's double click on this, and this should open our <clears throat> fresh log. Let's toggle this, debug only. Uh-oh, this is not what we were expecting, right? So we have four animals and four habitats, but this is only showing uh, three and which is also incorrect in a sense because cheetah is not found in the sea. So let's see what went wrong. Let's try to find out. So for that, we would need to debug our code by inserting system.debug statements. All right, but the big question is, where should we insert the system.debug statements? To understand this, we need to understand how 
basically a code works so every line of code or every piece of code that we write basically does this it gets some data it processes that data inside our code and it give away that data right if you see in this example we are not getting any data over here we are creating our own data so what can go wrong <clears throat> is basically you can when you are getting the data or when you are creating the data it might happen that you are creating it incorrectly or getting it incorrectly it may be that the number of records that you are fetching from the database or the parameters that you are getting from the calling function or the calling context is not appropriate and that can be causing the misbehavior of your code the other way could be the way you are processing the data is not how it should be and the third thing is when you are giving away the data you are not giving away the actual data that you need to give so these are the pinpoints where you can go wrong and the code can break so that is the points where we need to insert our system.debug so if you see this part we are creating a map that means we are getting a data so let's try to insert a system.debug over here and let's try to print this map all right again the same thing over here we are again creating a map of the habitats so then we need to do the same thing over here we need to update this and we are already printing whatever is inside the loop so we don't need to give any in system.debug statements over there all right so let's go ahead and try to execute it once more and see if we are able to find the bug or not we click on open log so that when we execute it opens the log automatically and here we have the logs let's let's click on debug only and if you carefully look at the debug logs you would be able to see that there is something wrong with the map of habitats that we have created it only has three key value pairs one is the first key is one two and there is no three there is only four so now we know where we are doing something wrong we must be doing something wrong over here right so let's see each of the statements one by one so first we are creating a map second we are assigning key value pairs third we are assigning another key value pair but oh no in the third key value pair we are by mistake overriding the key value pair that is already existing in the map so that is why it is not giving us the desired result so let's correct it and try to read on it and see if it's working right or not and there you go we have the desired results and we are ready to get rid of the system.debug statements and this is how you debug your epic code using system.debug and as you can see it is quite time taking and that is where our second approach that is using the apex replay debugger comes into the picture we will get to see that in the next video till then thanks for watching the video and see you in the next video